has the texture and application of the e.l.f. poreless primy putter. <laughs> poreless primy putter. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel and a very Merry Christmas to those of you who celebrate. It is Christmas morning right now. Well, very, very late morning because I'm not waking up at 4.30 when I am on vacation. It was a very quiet night last night, just me and my father. My father and I. Yeah. And again, it is just going to be my father and I for Christmas Day. I didn't uh, put up a tree or anything, and it's just kind of like a normal day for me. But what was really cool was yesterday, early Christmas Eve, I got a present in the mail from an amazing friend. She is a YouTube person. It is Lamberger, Danielle Gerstenberger, and I'm going to link her below. But I mean, I met her on YouTube, but she's become a very dear friend of mine, and she sent me a present, so I actually have something to open on Christmas morning. I had other friends who also sent me wonderful gifts, my YouTube friends, but I opened those already, so to, have to open on Christmas Day is really nice. This is going to be a long video, just throwing it out there, because I never got to do my advent calendars because, well, life and I want to do all of them so it's going to take me a little while. I'll try not to spend too much time. I woke up to my ceiling falling down in the living room. I'm going to be doing a get ready with me later. I'll explain that one. But So there's a card and it says, Leanne, open me up. Pretty snowman. It says, let it snow. Oh, and she sent me one of her channel logo stickers. Oh, how cute. Look. She had somebody design her logo, and oh my goodness, they did an amazing job. I've seen it before, but she sent me a sticker. Yay! I love it. Thank you for that beautiful card, Danielle. Oh, and look at the socks. <laughs> They're little snowmen. I love them. She knows my love of socks. I adore socks. Socks are one of the best things ever. Open Christmas morning. Ooh, well, first of all, hello. <laughs> Who doesn't love chocolate? Yummy. Thank you for my snacks. And oh, how cute. It is a planner. And I do not have one. And it has a lot of space for me to write and also uh, for you to take notes. And I think I'm going to use this as my YouTube planner. Yay. Thank you, Danielle. <gasps> oh, my goodness. How did you find something like this? Look, it's a memo board <laughs> with the kitty face and it says meow. And that looks like baby nugget and it hangs. I absolutely love this. You can hang a photo here. You can change it out. You can put a sign. I can do so many things. I can't wait to be able to hang this and use it. That is so amazing. Thank you, Danielle. This one is cute. And she's bubble wrapped. I think it's a candle. Gingerbread delight. Yum. Oh my goodness, I want to eat it. Oh, that smells so amazing. We are going to light her. And put her behind me because I didn't even light my candles. Thank you so much, Danielle. It's not about the gifts. It's about your friendship and the love that I feel from you. And it's the love that I feel from all of you guys. And I am so totally blessed and cannot thank you enough. Now, let's get into the rest of my Alan Al Al vent. Alan vent. I think I need some more of this. I did run out this morning and get myself a cup of coffee because... I needed it. Well, the first one I have to finish is this very broken apart little guy here. This is from Ulta Beauty. I was amused by the fact that it looks like this. So I opened it days one and two. And the next thing I have here, I got to put on my glasses. Oh, this is an Ulta eyeshadow crayon. I don't know if I have their eyeshadow crayons. I have several, and I have to tell you, they are so quick and easy when I don't want to fuss. I use a matte, and I will smudge it with a brush in my crease, and then I'll just throw one of these shimmers on. I used it the other day for work, and I threw on some mascara. I didn't even bother putting on liner, 
and it was perfect. Oh, it's very, very creamy. And I think it'll also make a great brow bone color and also inner eye. That's nice. I'm excited to try that. Number four. This is one of their plumping lip oils. I got the little teeny tiny baby one in the Ulta Pinata. This one is more of a deluxe size. That one was a super teeny tiny size. I've tried this. I do like it. I like their lip oils in general. This one happens to be plumping. I'm going to see if this one has any uh, effect. I don't feel anything yet. If I do, I'll let you know. Number five. And it is an Ulta lipstick, and it actually looks like a color that I may like. The only problem with these calendars that I've noticed, they don't give them names. Oh, that's pretty. I have to say, I really, really like this color a lot. This is a perfect little neutral color for me. When I'm wearing lipsticks, I see myself using that one. Six. <laughs> this is a brow highlighter. Funny, it looks extremely similar, just maybe a slightly different shade of the eyeshadow color. And I do have several of these already. I'm going to put this one to the side so, again, someone else can enjoy it. Seven. This is an Ulta lip gloss. It looks like it's a very pretty light pink shade. I have several of these and I know that they are nice and sheer so you don't have to worry about being sloppy or too glittery or anything and I'm going to put this one to the side too. Eight. And here is a liquid lipstick in a very similar shade to I think this one which was the bullet lipstick. Again I have several of these and do I have a nine? A number nine. This is the Ulta Beauty. Obviously, what do I keep saying that they're all Ulta Beauty? Hello. This is their mattifying face primer. I'm not one for mattifying primers, and I also happen to have another sample of this already. So I'm going to put this one to the side. Number 10. Number 10, 10. We have a blush duo. One might have a little bit of shimmer in it. It is hard for me to tell, but one's a lighter peach. One is a darker peach. I would probably swirl my brush in both of them and apply it, but that is a really nice thing to get. Number 11. I like the rose gold sparkly. Oh. How cute! That is a highlighter, and it's got a little star embossed on it. See that? That's actually really pretty. Very soft. It has a golden hue to it that's actually quite pretty. And the last one, and one of the smallest products. <laughs> okay, so this is a makeup setting spray. And I'm also going to put this one to the side because it'll go with this one that I received in the pinata box. That was this calendar. That was a lot of fun. I don't think they're still available, but you never know. Check your stores on Boxing Day on the 26th. They're going to have a lot of stuff on sale. I'm not trying to push anything, but if you wanted to try a $38 lipstick for $12, Pat McGrath is having a sale on their site. Obviously, their lip products are not selling. Shocking. $12 for a $38 lipstick, that's a drugstore price to me, so I may pick one up just because. Okay, let's continue and switch and go into my sock calendar. This is the 15 Days of Socks. These were $15 at Target. Totally worth it to me. <laughs> The next one is Three Mice Playing. It makes me happy, it makes me sad because I used to call my sisters Mouse. And I miss calling them Mouse. <laughs> I absolutely love it. This may be my favorite pair aside from any cat ones that I get. And I like that they're crew socks, so that is so freaking cute. Four is Penguins. I may give these to my niece because she absolutely adores penguins. Yes, it is indeed a cute little snowy penguin. And I think I'm going to do that. I think I'll save these to give to her. Number five, we have a unicorn. Oh, and look, when you open it up, you just get the unicorn face staring right back at you. I have a pair of ankle socks here. It has a little thread. That's no big deal. I can just cut that off. Those are really cute. Number six is Musa dancing. Does anybody live, like, anywhere where there are wild moose running around? I've always wondered what that would be like. I get fascinated when I travel upstate and I see cows. 
Oh, these are cute. I like those. Little mooses. Llamas leaping. <laughs> Speaking of uh, Danielle Gerstenberger, she has a thing with llamas. She says she always spits like a llama. So, Danielle, if you're watching this, I'm going to be sending this to you because you need a llama in your life. Don't we all? Eight raccoons prancing. Aw, he's cute. That's what I look like when I'm really tired these days. Nine reindeer flying. And they're Rudolph. Look at the red nose. Those are adorable. This will be my second favorite, or maybe first favorite. Ten cats a purring. And he's probably drinking hot chocolate, but I'm going to pretend it's coffee since, you know, I'm a coffee cat type of person. He's really cute. I like him. Eleven owls singing. He's cute too. I like him. Twelve foxes skiing. He's adorable. Oh, look, he's all curled up. I love baby foxes. I just love foxes. They are such beautiful animals. And I don't wear fur. I don't believe in it. I don't think you should kill an animal only for its fur alone. I think it's cruel, but that's just my opinion. Thirteen snowmen chilling. Oh, this one says peace and hope. You know, that's something we all need right now is peace and hope, that's for sure. Fifteen sloths are sleeping. Well, that's appropriate. I was a sloth this morning. Hello, I can count 14 hedgehogs skating. We left out the poor little hedgehog. Oh, he's cute too. And now we get to my little sloth over here. Oh, he is actually cute. I didn't ever think sloths were very cute, but he is. I like him. Yay, that was my critter calendar. Let's hop back into the makeup. The last time I checked, this calendar from Target was still available. I think it was $20. They say it's valued at over $49. Obviously, this has everything that's going to be sold at Target. It's not just makeup. It is also just personal care items as well. And here we have door number three. Ooh, this is a good one. Oh my goodness gracious. Could not get that out, but this is awesome. This is the Pixie Glow Tonic. I haven't used this in a while because I have so many tonics to use, so I'm happy to have a little baby again. Yay! Number four is a little larger. Oh, it's so funny. I actually have one of these. I forgot what I get. got it in. It is the Lumine Nordic Sea Pure Glow Cleansing Balm. I'm going to be doing a video on all the cleansing balms and comparing them. This one is actually pretty good. I'm trying to remember if I liked the smell or not. I'm going to include it in a giveaway anyway because I want somebody else to try it. But I do remember that it rinsed very cleanly and I like that. But I cannot remember if I like the smell. Anything that has this floral smell, I don't like. So, But I want you guys to try this. Cleansing bombs, if you don't know, you use them to take off your makeup first. You rinse it off and then you go in with your regular cleansing routine. Number five is a big guy. I don't know, a sheet mask? What do you think? No. Oh, look at this. It's a real technique sponge. Well, that's fabulous. I have a bunch of other sponges that I'm using currently, but this one's awesome to get. They're like $5.99 all by themselves. Number six is a big door here. And this says fragrance mist, waterless, touch activated scent, alcohol free, rose and peach. I just don't know what it is though, and I'm looking at it, I'm not even showing you. What are you? Oh, it tames static. Well, that's pretty cool. I'm hoping that it doesn't smell horrifically of rose. Let's see. Do you know the scent isn't that bad? That's a pretty cool thing to get. Number seven is also a large door. So far, this is a fantastic calendar. Oh, and I love this. This is from Eva NYC. It is their main magic 10 in 1 primer. I use this as a detangling spray. I like it. I've never actually purchased it because I get it all the time, so that's awesome. Can I just note that the lipstick is not getting on my teeth? Can we get a two thumbs up for that? Number eight's a baby door. This is from Bliss, and it is their Mighty Marshmallow. <laughs> Bright and radiant moisturizing. Oh, it just says whipped mask. Well, that's pretty cool. I think Bliss is a very underrated drugstore brand. Oh, it really is whipped. Look at it. It's pink. And it does look like marshmallow. Very, very whipped. Number nine is another baby door. 
This is the La Roche Posay B5 Hyalo Serum. I'm guessing once I read further, I'll know, but this is, I think, a hyaluronic serum, which is awesome. Not going to complain about that. Number 10 is also large. Oh, it's from EOS. And is their Shea Butter Hand Cream. It is in pink citrus. Oh, it has a wonderful citrus smell. I love the smell of oranges and citrus stuff. Mmm, yummy. Number 11 is also a large door here. We're getting close to the end. Aha, uh -huh, I knew it had to happen. <laughs> it's from Collab. Oh, I've never tried anything for, from Collab. I've heard nice things about the brand, though. This is their dry shampoo, and it says oil absorption without white residue. I really don't use dry shampoos. I have more than I could ever possibly imagine, so I am going to pass this on. And the number 12 is from Soap and Glory. I love their foundation, by the way. I have two of them. It is their Instant Perfection Power Primer, one heck of a blot, which makes me think that is for oily skin. You know what? I'll just pass this one along and put it into a giveaway as well. Well, I have to say, I really, really enjoyed this calendar. This is like one of the best and least expensive calendars for beauty-wise I think I've opened, so yay. Let's get into our little cat miss calendar. Now look at this. Do you see how it's a Christmas tree of cats? Christmas tree of cats. Yes, I wore this the other day when I filmed, but it's Christmas morning. Gotta do it. <laughs> this is cute. I'm not fat. I'm fluffy. Aw, look how cute. They're adorable. There's a couple of little different guys on there. Number four says everything is going according to plan with a ball of yarn. Okay, this one, that one was empty, but it may have fallen down, so we'll see when I get into number five. Like, these don't have dividers in them, like, they're not separate compartments, so I can see them falling. But this one says, I think I had too much catnip. He's cute. It's a sleeping baby. It looks like my Snowy. You guys never got to meet Snowy. <laughs> number six, I really want you to pet me, but also kind of really want to bite you. That, my friends, in a nutshell, is Pepper Cat, my demon child. Like, this one has two pairs of socks in it, so that's what I'm thinking happened somehow. Oh, he's cute. It looks a little bit like Tuxedo. It looks more like my Mr. Perfect Cat. The other one in here is this. The little snowflakes on it. That's really cute. Number seven says, if I just keep looking cute, surely they will blame the dog. Well, my cat, cat, in my case, no, they just blame the other cats. It's a jack cat. Number eight says, I am kitty, hear me roar. And it's just an adorable kitty face. Didn't I get this one already? Or something similar. See how bad my memory is? But he's cute. Number nine, <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Oh, that's a cute one, too. <laughs> Number 10, be afraid. Be very afraid. <laughs> Look at the face on that one. He's cute. You're hired. Now clean up my mess. Yeah, you notice how they expect us to do that all the time? Another adorable looking kitty. Number 12, look at that baby face on that kitten. How could anybody not like that? Oh my goodness. Soon gingers will rule. <laughs> Very cute. Number 13 is big. It says, I'm hungry, but my bowl is only 90% full. My fellow cat ladies who can relate to that. That's a cute one. 14 is 50 pounds of gray. <laughs> Look at the size of that fur baby. Oh, that's a fat cat. Look at the tushy on the end. And the very last one is my tuxedo baby. And it says, go on, rub my belly. I'll let you know when to stop. That's really cute. With the white fuzzy on it. I like that one. Yay. Two awesome sock calendars. The last one's behind me. So this one was the NYX Diamonds and Ice calendar. Also have the Huda Beauty Advent calendar, which is now on sale for $125 instead of $175. I don't think I'd pay $125 either, personally. But this was very, very pretty, and 
they all go in a row so they're easy to find. This is door number three. This is, I think, one of their matte lip creams. And this is in the color Con. This is a pretty color. I wasn't sure I was going to like it, but I actually do. Next we have number four. Oh, this is one of their eyeshadows. They do sell these as singles. And this one is in called Glam. I thought I said people. <laughs> Glam Purple. They're extremely soft. It's not super intense, but it's really pretty. Five moves on to the second section here. Oh, this is cool. You know, I've really wanted to try this for quite some time. This is their NYX This Is Everything Lip Scrub. Their This Is Everything Lip Oils are absolutely amazing. I've gone through about two of them thus far. Oh, it smells amazing. It doesn't feel too scrubby, to be perfectly honest with you. It feels more like a bomb. I'll try it and I'll let you know, but I think this might even be a full size, so that's amazing. Number six, this is the NYX Butter Gloss, another product that I also really enjoy. I like the color coordinated cap, that's really nice. You can see how it compares to the lip creams. I think they do that, so you can tell the difference. This is not a color that I think I'm going to wear, so I'm gonna put that one to the side as well. Number seven is here. It's very awkward because I can't bend this backwards. Ooh, it is one of their glitter shadows, which I have several of, and I also really enjoy them. This one is in crystal. Look at that. They're so soft that they literally will squish down in the pan. Look at that. That's very pretty. It's not chunky or anything. It goes on almost like a topper. I'm going to be excited to see if I remember how these work. Number eight is all the way in the corner. I really like this because I think the last one they just had like lip products and you know, that's not going to go over this year. Oh, look, I got another one of the This Is Everything lip oils. I can't tell you how much I adore these. This one is in sheer. They just feel so good. They're not sticky. They absorb into your lips and they feel amazing. Number nine, back onto this other side. This is another lip oil, except this one is tinted sheer blush. Just a very light hint of color. There you go. They do come in a multitude of shades. So if you want just a little bit of color, you can get it. I don't know if they smell. Pretend's a very large door. Okay. We already received one. This is probably a different color, but this is their Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator. I'm still finishing off two of these. I use them, oh, this is in Gleam. I use them all over my face just to give my face an all over glow underneath my foundation. But of course you can use them just as highlighter. They're wonderful. Number 11. Here's another soft matte lip cream in the color Rome. It's a little bit darker than I think I'm going to be comfortable with, and I want somebody else to enjoy it, so I'll put that one to the side. Number 12. Oh, cool. This is also, it looks like a full size of the This Is Everything Lip Loving Balm. You know, it kind of feels just like the lip scrub, but I am excited to have it yay. Number 13. This is the NYX Finishing Powder. I don't know if I've tried this one or not. It's in translucent. You're not going to be able to see it, obviously, but I wanted to see how it felt. It's kind of mattifying and blurring a little bit. Very, very finely milled. Number 14 is over here. It is a soft matte lipstick. It's a very pretty rose color. Do I want to try this one? Yeah, what the hey, why not? That's actually really pretty. I like it. It's about as adventurous as I get. <laughs> Number 15. This is another butter gloss, and this is in the color Creme Brulee. I didn't tell you that this is called Natural. It's a little too peachy. Let me just swatch it. It's sheer, but you can definitely see that it has the peach tint, which is why it's not going with this right now. That's cool. Number 16, all the way down here. 
it is another glitter shadow and this one is called golden bronze and I'm not going to swatch this one because I'm going to put this one to the side also number 17 is down here it's another shadow called bronze goddess hold on this one's more um, bronzy colored. This one has more yellow undertones to it. So those two also to the side. Number 18. There's another soft matte lip cream, but in a much darker color. This one is called Siren. Too dark for me. I know a couple of people that this will look quite good on. So to the side for that one. Number 19. Another matte lip cream. This one's called Whipped Caviar. It looks like a color that I can wear. Let's see. They all seem to be in this like berry rosy color theory, scheme, thing. Wow. They're so super comfortable, but you know what's interesting? Hold on. It looks so similar, doesn't it? I mean, yeah, they're different, but as I said, they all seem to be in these tones. Number 20. Oh, this is a pretty one. This is called Rose Gold. These are some of my favorite tones. That's a double swatch. As I said, these are very light. I don't remember if they're buildable or not, but it's still extremely pretty. Number 21. This is the HD Studio Photogenic Eyeshadow Base. I think I've tried this. I don't know, but the packaging is nice. It's all black. I think I've tried it. I think I liked it. It's very thin. It is tinted. I don't think it's going to cancel out everything. It's quite creamy. So if you have dry eyelids like I do, this may be something that uh, might work. I'll have to try it again when I do get rid of me and let you know how I like it. Uh, the next one is 22. And wow, this is a super gold one nice if they included a couple of mattes, don't you think? This one is an antique gold. This is another I'm going to put uh, to the side, but let's do the comparison. And you can see the three gold tones. Like, there's so many other tones besides gold. And yet they included that. I'm certainly not complaining because that's a beautiful color. But I'm going to put that one to the side too because that seems to be a lot of the colors I already have. Number 23, the second to last door over here. This is another Butter Gloss. Ooh, this is the color Tiramisu. There it is here. That's very pretty. Let's see. It really goes on beautifully over this lipstick that I have on. So it's nice that they color coordinated everything. Yay. And let's get into the very last door of my very last advent calendar. It's all over. And it's a squeezy tubey of their pore filler primer. This one I have not personally tried. And look at the uh, the applicator. Eesh. It's tinted. Want to know what's interesting? It has the texture and application of the e.l.f. poreless primey putter. <laughs> poreless primey putter. How do I come up with these things? This feels really quite, quite nice. And it is blurring on the hand at least. It's very smooth. It has a silicone-y texture, but still yet a creamy texture. Oh, I'm gonna be excited to try this. I have so many new primers and such, so many new things to try. Well, my friends, that is the end of all of my advent calendars. That was kind of fun, although I liked doing them day by day like I did last year. As I said, you know, life happens. If you have stayed to the end, I really, really appreciate that so very much. Let me know what you think about each of the calendars. Do you think they were worth it? Just know that I love you. I appreciate you. I am hoping that you have an amazing new year and that 2021 brings us all the peace, serenity, and grace that we all need and deserve so very much. I love you guys and I hope you have an amazing day. I hope you have an amazing week coming up. Hopefully I'll be seeing you before New Year's and uh, I will talk to you soon. Much love. Bye.